You cannot say this is not a pencil skirt. I messed up. Hi, this is Ariel. Bonjour. Welcome to my channel where we make fun costumes and weird stuff. I know I am in black and white. That's because I want to prepare my regular viewers. I changed my hair color. <laughs> Ready? The quick story is that there was an internet outage for a day, so I was forced to go outside. Mm. And I went into a hair salon to ask if they could do anything for my hair. And they said, oh oui, bien sûr, ce sera 250 euros. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So I went in the supermarket instead and I got 15 euros for a basic hair dye and I did it myself. What do you think? Do we like it? I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's fun. And also, Ariel, anyone? <laughs> Anyways, so I was looking for inspiration for my next project and suddenly... I remember that I had an image in my mood board for years. It's this one. It's so fun and whimsy and also it's so 80s. I love the 80s. So I want to make this sensible but also make the skirt a pencil skirt. Get it? A pencil skirt? So let's go get some fabric. <laughs> I went to the fabric store and look what I found. This is made of actual wood. How perfect this is for a pencil outfit. This is very, very thin cork pieces that are glued to a canvas. It's light and flexible and also not very expensive. There were different kinds, some with colors, some with metallics. And it looks a bit like pencil shavings that were glued to a fabric. So perfect. I'm going with the basic one. The top of this outfit shall be a short bolero. It doesn't go over the bust and it doesn't have any closure, so it shouldn't be too hard to make. I'm draping it in two parts with the back and the front, and then I'm drawing the lines with the A marker. I cut off these basic shapes into my wood fabric with a 1cm seam allowance. This can be cut very easily, almost like paper, and it doesn't fray, which is good. I'm using a very simple yellow cotton as the lining. And I'm using the previously cut pieces as a template to cut that lining. At the store, I also got a piece of yellow vinyl, which will be the painted part of the pencil. I would never recommend to make a full garment out of this uh, synthetic vinyl, but it works great for details. I just want the edges of the clothes to be covered in this. The back is assembled. This fabric is also very easy to sew. It does not move. Then I add more pieces of vinyl to cover all the edges. Securing all these edges with a temporary basting stitch. I sharpened a few pencils to get a reference of the decoration that I want to make on the edge. And I'm drawing this by hand, making them a little bit irregular and also pointy. This blue pen has ink that disappears with heat. That's a friction pen. I love those. The pins, they leave a mark in the yellow vinyl, but this part will be cut off. So I sew first the top line and cut the excess off. This fabric doesn't fray and is easy to cut. But it's not easy to sew because it's kind of sticky. I'm also cutting off the excess of the wood fabric on the inside. Because I did some testing and with the two layers, the edge doesn't end up very neat. So I'm just cutting off the bulk here. I'm doing one piece at a time to make sure that the decoration matches at the side seams and the shoulder seams. To make the two front sides match, I'm copying one side onto the other. Same technique for the trimming on the back collar, which I messed up. <laughs> My calculations were not great on the collar and I didn't make a mock-up, which I always should, but I didn't. So I'm ripping this piece off and replacing it uh, with a scrap. You can also see that I redid the back seam and let it open a little bit more to give more space in the back. Again, I should have made a markup. <laughs> the lining is super simple to assemble. And I needed to finish the edge. 
just drawing the decoration lines on the inside of the fabric. And with the lining pinned in place, I can follow these with the sewing machine. This is sewn as a bag lining. So before turning it inside out, I first need to cut off all the excess of this fabric. Otherwise, there is no way that all those edges will look sharp. We need to put little notches on all the curved edges and clip a million of those corners. Now the whole thing can be turned inside out and I'm using a sharp object to push all those little pointy thingies. To finish the armholes, I'm using these little scraps that are actually a bit I removed there to make the arm opening a bit wider. And since I did not make a pattern, it's perfect to trace the facing. And it fits perfectly. I pin it right side against right side and sew it all around the armhole. And then lots of notching to turn it inside out. Because this fabric has absolutely zero stretch. This behaves a lot like paper, which makes some part of the sewing easier, but others a lot harder. Now I can cut the excess lining of those and put it inside out on my mannequin. This is my favorite way of closing a lining. It is pinned neatly away from the edge and then I sew it by hand. Et voilà, a little pencil bolero. to make a pencil skirt but this wood fabric it behaves a little bit like paper and it does not look good at all if you crease it and you cannot iron it i don't think it is a good idea to make a fitted garment in this fabric i'm afraid it's going to be uncomfortable and ugly <laughs> especially in the hips if i walk or sit it will get all crinkled so the original image has a circle skirt so i'm going to make one but i will call it a pencil skirt i mean this is a pencil skirt how is this not. You cannot say this is not a pencil skirt. <laughs> Roughly measuring my waist and the skirt length that I want, I cut a circle with a smaller circle inside. Also adding a back seam for putting on the zipper. I want to make the scalloped edge in one piece only, so I'm using this circle as a pattern for the yellow vinyl fabric. Measuring where each point should go and I'm drawing the decoration like before and I'm making some places a bit different because when you sharpen your pencil It's not perfectly regular Like before I'm cutting the excess white vinyl on the inside and it will leave a big circle that I can maybe use for another project and I use that to cut my lining which is a surprise surprise another circle Cutting the excess wood and closing the back seam of the skirt and the lining. I forgot to transfer the drawing, so I'm just doing it as I am sewing. It doesn't need to be perfect anyways. And now a million more scallops to cut. Clipping the corners and notching the curves. And this big pancake can be turned inside out. The waistband will be a super simple rectangle at the measurements of my waist plus the seam allowance. And this fabric is very stiff so it doesn't need to be interfaced. I'm clipping the waist heavily because this fabric again has no stretch and no chill. So to attach this curved edge with the straight edge of the waistband, we need to do this. I pin the zipper, the zipper, the zipper. <coughs> I pin the zipper in the back and sew it down before opening the back seam. Then I pin the lining to it on the inside and sew it by hand. Then I can pin the waistband and again sew it by hand. 
Despite its flaws, this cork fabric is very easy to hand sew. I also added some hand stitching on the hem to keep the lining in place and keep my edges very sharp. I messed up. I pressed the steam button by accident and now it's all... It made all these bubbles. Oh no! Mm. I tried to press and stretch the fabric. They made it worse here. So I will have to live with all these little bubbles. Update! If I add a little bit of heat on this with the iron and no steam, I can use something hard and a bit round like this uh, owl tool and press the bubbles back into position. It's not perfect and I have to be really careful because I ripped a little test piece that I made earlier, but it kind of works, so I'm happy about this. To add a little bit of flair to this outfit, I want to make a little accessory. Let's make some earrings. To turn this pencil into two pencils, I sew it in two parts. So sew, sew it, saw, saw it. Ugh, words. I don't know how to say that correctly. <laughs> Sorry. Don't forget to clean that graphite powder. This will stain every light fabric I put on the table. Let's just drill a very small hole in those. Then I sharpen them so they are the same size. I think these earrings will be fun, so I want to actually wear them on a daily basis. So I will cover the ends in resin. That way it should protect the point from breaking and also staining my clothes. And yes, unfortunately, this will make the pencils unusable. Little wire through the hole. And I tried to add some matching beads, so it would look a little bit more like jewelry, but eh, meh, I don't like it, so I just keep it simple. And that will complete the outfit. But now that I think about it, Look how happy she looks with her bag. And I really love funny handbags. What do you think? Should I make this? Hmm, maybe. You can subscribe for more silly projects. This video is not sponsored. I just want to give a big shout out, a big hug to my Patreons on Patreon and also the channel members. I have a lot of plans this year to make better things for you. Thank you for allowing me all this, but also thank you to everyone watching. If I could, I would bring a warm croissant to you in the morning. You deserve it. And now it is time for the reveal. Today's theme is the late 80s and stationary, I guess. Allez, 